Go back to CapCut. Let me show you a face tracking effect. At least currently in the desktop version, I don't know an auto function for it, so we'll have to do it manually. I know that there is in the mobile version, there is a face tracker, or at least there was one when I checked it out. But even that one isn't, I don't want to say it's bad, but it's not perfect. So you may have to do that manually for the mobile version if you want to have better results anyway. Let me use this clip and I make it a bit shorter so that I don't have to do it for the entire clip. You can see the camera is still and the head is moving according to the music, I would assume. And we want to have it differently so that the face is always in center and the camera moves around it. So one way to do it, as I've said manually, is to select this clip and first up on the video basic, scale it up. How far you have to scale it up depends on the movement. So how far he moves his head to left, right, up and down. We may have to adjust that in the end. 120 should be fine if there's a lot of movement, 150 or even 200. But we'll start with 120 and then use a sticker. I've just used a dot. It's important that this sticker doesn't move. So some of these stickers have inbuilt animations. Check it before applying it. This one doesn't move and it doesn't fade out or anything. So we use that. I've downloaded it, clicked on the plus sign and now it's in my timeline. I size it down and then I position it to a spot that I can easily identify in the footage. In our case, that's the nose. So I want to put it somewhat in center of the nose. And that's a good position to start. We are at the start of our clip and then I select the footage below. So we want to apply the animation to the footage and not the sticker. Go to position and start the animation via adding a keyframe. Once again, we are fully to the left, so the start of it. And now I use the arrow keys to the right, like five times maybe. And then I left click drag on a preview window and I reposition the footage so that our sticker is exactly on the nose again. And this is what I do like 20 times in this case. So I use five steps to the right with the right arrow key and then I reposition it with a left click drag and this creates new keyframes automatically. And maybe 120% was too low. You can see that here on the right, our footage now ends. So I should have made that a little bit bigger. We can adjust it later on. So don't worry for it now. In our case, we'll just follow through until we've come to the end of the footage right here. I make the sticker invisible and then I play it. And you can see now the nose is always in center and the camera moves. In the end, as I've said, our footage or the scaling was too small. So let me size that up to 130 and I try it again. It's still too small. I use 150, but that should be good. Once again, I play it. And now you can see it works for the entire clip. And this is how I would create this face tracking effect in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.